Known as the Crown of the East, the China Pavilion is the most popular pavilion at the Shanghai World Expo. The pavilion has attracted about 38,000 visitors each day since the opening of the expo early this month. More than a million visitors have waited for hours in long queues just to be in the pavilion. Visiting the pavilion is not easy as visitors need to obtain tickets handed out every day by volunteers at the entrances of the expo park. Yet, many visitors have missed out on the pavilion. The organizer of the expo has assured the public that they will get to visit the pavilion even after the expo. The team of the pavilion is Chinese wisdom in urban development. It showcases China's urbanization over the past 30 years. At the beginning of the exhibition, visitors will be taken through a video presentation which tells stories about China's vast migration from rural to urban areas and its people's enthusiasm for building a better city. Also on display are some old household appliances and the setting of a modern apartment to signify China's transformation over the last few decades. The centerpiece of the exhibition is the 128-meter-long animated rendition of the famous painting Riverside Scene during the Qingming Festival by Zhang Zetuan, a renowned Song Dynasty painter. It depicts the life of ordinary people during the festival both in daytime and at night. The real painting, which is regarded as one of China's national treasures, is also displayed at the pavilion, courtesy of the Liaoning Museum. Other museums in China have also contributed some 40 valuable art pieces to the pavilion. Zhang 有很多可看之处，有很多亮点，有很多的啊机会让大家看到这些无价之宝。The operator says the pavilion will soon replace the painting with yet another national treasure exhibit, possibly the bronze chariot and horse sculpture, a centerpiece of the terracotta warriors from the Qin Dynasty. In the section known as Land of Hope, visitors will see how future city dwellers in China. Embrace the spirit of neighborliness. Visitors will then be taken on a train ride to discover the achievements in the country's development from past to present. The final section of the exhibition focuses on China's efforts and commitment in tackling future challenges brought by urbanization. The country sends the message that it will take low carbon technologies as its core in the name of development. The World Expo will go on until October 31st. Catch the star online.tv for more updates on the expo.